Good day, Pirates. Shmi here, and I'm going to go over the simulator portion of my program. In the previous tutorial, I covered the build portion. So let's get started. First off, you build your ships that you want to build. I will make a ballistic sea wolf. Let's give it some armor so it has a chance of surviving. After you have built your ship, you click the ship versus ship button at the top. Up here you can import the sea wolf into the red slot or the blue slot. For now I'm going to import it to the red slot. If you don't want it there, just click, click clear. Anyway, import the ship there. Go back to build ship. And let's build a sea wolf that is a missile sea wolf. I'll just put these L series strike missiles on them. Go back to ship versus ship and import it in the other slot. First thing that happens is you get a heads up comparison between the two ships. The green numbers mean it has an advantage over the other ships. This does 262 ballistic DPS, that does 140 missile DPS. Otherwise, everything else is the same same armor, same speed, same evasion. Down here is the destruction test. Click on a question mark to get an overview of what that is. The destruction test is just a quick graphical comparison over time and distance. This is 0 to 4 minutes here and 0 to 100 distance. Whoever has the higher bar at the given distance wins the fight at that distance. Here you can see that the red ship, the ballistic ship, has an advantage and it would last about 17 seconds if constantly pounded by the blue ship, if the blue ship took no damage. Whereas the blue ship, during these ranges down here, would only last uh, about 12 seconds. Up here where you see the blue ship is maxed out, that means the red ship has run out of range. So the blue ship will survive all the way to 4 minutes without taking any damage. Whereas the red ship expires here at about 17 seconds. Now where you see both the blue and red bars, that means there are no weapons from either ship that can fire at that range. So both ships last forever. When you click the destruction test, you see down here under actual DPS. This takes into account the other ship's evasion and any resistances. So it may be different. It says 262.50 here and 262.50 here. Let's click rebuild right quick and put a guidance scrambler on this one and I'll show you what happens. You just import right over it. Okay. Run the destruction test again. 262.50 here, but its actual DPS versus this ship is 157.50 now. That's because this ship has a 40% evasion. Alright. Let's move on to the simulator. We get a nice big full screen here. The close button up top takes you back to this area. There are several different simulations that are pre-programmed. Each one has a question mark next to it to tell you what it's about. The Red Hunt is basically playing chase. Now during all these simulations you can go up here to the top and you can speed them up. I'm going to go 8x here for the video just because I don't want to wait. Both these ships are at the same speed so you can see no one has any advantage and nothing's going on. You click stop to stop the simulation. Now then, the reverse is a typical missile ship move. Your ship, or the red ship, executes a, an about face essentially, and the blue ship chases it until it catches it in the corner. This is to see how effective you would be if you had, for example, a missile fleet or a mortar fleet of turning around and getting away from your enemy while damaging it before it can close it. The joust test is your typical ballistic encounter where two ballistic ships would face off against each other and charge to minimum distance. The power test is not working yet, but what this will do is compare speed and DPS and range to see how effective you would be at doing, for example, the weekly events. So click stop. The last test is the run test. What this does is let you actually drive the red ship. You click somewhere in the ocean and you can move around wherever that point is and the blue ship will constantly chase you until it gets to minimum 
until it gets to within about like 18 distances. Now to see the actual results of the battle report, you close this window. Here you have the red ship was defeated. It has the defeat icon. The blue ship won. The red ship completely defeated. Has 0 HP left. The blue ship still survived with 324 HP. That's how much damage it took. So we can go back and let's say I want to make the red ship better. Click rebuild and imports that ship back in here. So let's give it a guidance scrambler. And let's also boost the evade on it even higher. Import that ship back in there. Run into the simulator. Let's do the joust test again. Now this time the red ship is winning the joust test. Close the window. Red ship wins taking 1405 damage. So you can do different builds, bounce back and forth, run the simulator, and then see what advantages you can give your ship over this particular opponent. Now in the future you will be able to select in here from certain pre-built opponents like a Dreadnought X with mortars or a Goliath if you're planning on taking out a Goliath in a base. Well that's the simple version of all of this. Have fun. It sure is a lot better than Attack of the Pokies.